Hello out there everyone, Night Guy back at you. I have uh, in front of us here a priority mail package, yes, but it's what's in the package that matters. Um, I went ahead and decided to try out the Cold Steel Messer. Uh, not the gross messer, I believe they call it, not the, not the big one. This is the um, uh, Cold Steel, I, I'm not sure if it's a Lang Messer or which classification this one would fall into. Um, but it's it's a shorter one, uh, primarily single hand or, um, you know, I guess a hand and a half length on the handle. Uh, anyways, uh, let's get into the unboxing on this. Uh, this is a first time unpackaging. I already had some of the tape cut off. And uh, peek under there. We have the uh, wrap and packaging job there. Completely wrapped up in Cosmoline. See the cold steel label there. See if I can pick that up. Here we go. Cold, cold Steel, world's strongest, sharpest swords made in India. I guess they uh, make their swords in India. Um, I'm a big fan of the Cold Steel products uh, on my channel. I've uh, demoed a few other Cold Steel blades that I was really proud of, uh, mainly machete swords. Um, a few machete swords and the uh, cold steel Bowie machete. Um, this is my first purchase from them of a, a sword that, uh, you know, uh, well, Messer uh, the, by translation means big knife in German, I'm pretty sure. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure this is of Germanic origin. Um, but it is my first, you know, uh, more historically accurate piece uh that i've that i've purchased from cold steel especially um you know i try to go for uh pretty high performance uh at a reasonable reasonable price swords are very expensive uh this one wasn't the cheapest in the world but i i, I was able to get it uh and for under 200 i don't remember i've had this for a little while i'm finally opening it now um you know but uh most most swords of any sort of historical accuracy are normally going to run you way higher than that, especially for something that comes with, uh, this feels like this comes with a, a scabbard in here. Anyways, uh, let's get it out of there so we can take a closer look to actually see some of the features. Um, I'm not an expert. I'm not a historian. I'm not a, you know, a professional sword collector by any means. Uh, this is just a fun hobby. Everything is for, you know, extra knowledge. Um, I'm not really too sure exactly of, you know, what would be considered ideal historical accuracy for a messer. But what I can, from what I can gather from what I've seen uh, on my own research is that um, it's normally going to be um, approximately something you would consider to be a sword length blade or sword uh, thickness on the blade. Um, you know, that, that can vary from for whom you talk to. What is a sword length and what is just a big knife or, you know, machete. Um, as I was mentioning before, the name Messer, I believe, means giant or war knife. Um, anyhow, let's uh, get this box out of the way. See if we can get a little more focus on the Messer itself. Um, anyhow, uh, the stats of a typical Messer... Are normally going to be it's it's going to appear like a a giant war knife I guess you could say uh, have some um, you know common sim similarities to a, a knife as well as a sword. Uh, typically, from what I've seen, mainly where you really see it is in the handle of how a, a messer's handle is constructed. Um, not to mention the fact that they're normally one-sided blades have a single edge with a flat back and there you go you could kind of see it in there all packaged in uh, greased up a little uh i guess uh they call that uh i'm not i'm not sure if it was knuckle or bone but i, I like that guard there um it's all taped up still let's go ahead and get that out being very careful to not cut myself by accident of course I'm not sure how sharp this thing is out of the package. Going to be doing a 
full review on that soon. Let's see here. All right. So let's go ahead and dispense with the uh, scabbard sheath there. I'm not sure. Let's see what, what I have under here. If it's a scabbard or a sheath. Go ahead and just tear out of that packaging like it's Christmas morning. Let's, uh, let's see if I can slide that up and out. And it has a nice little plastic wrap on the end there. I like they do that, you know. It seems like just a leather scabbard so far. Oh, look at that. Actually, I'm, uh, I stand corrected. I like that uh, end there. Metal. Looks like a steel steel cap on the end of the scabbard. This is actually very pleasing. I was uh, under the impression that the messer came only messer, no uh, no sheath or scabbard. And this uh, extra scabbard with it is, is uh, pretty nice. Let's see here if I can get the rest of this out. Trying to be careful to not mess up my leather at all on this thing. Oh yeah, there, there we go. There she goes. All right, let's see if we can get that out of there. All right, even uh, oiled up and greased up on the scabbard. Another metal cap here. Runs all the way down. We have uh, two parallel stitchings almost. Kind of looks like, uh, it's definitely leather wrapped. Almost looks like it's intended to be uh, wood there or like a wood wooden design. I don't know if you could see in here. It almost looks like a spiral Let me get that further back. Give me one moment. My cats are playing with a bottle cap in the background there You silly boys All right, sorry about that. We're back minor technical difficulty. Let's get some of this trash out of the way. And look at that scabbard there. Um, I'm not sure how thick the blade is. Got a little cross stitch on the back work. I really like the design on this leather. Almost looks like it's meant to look as uh, like wood, like a stained wood. That's really impressive. Very nice. I'm, I'm very glad that I they, they, they give that extra feature there. Now for the most important part. Yes, yes, yes. The messer itself. The... Oh yeah, this thing comes packed in grease. I'm gonna actually get something to wipe that down briefly. This thing feels incredibly light already, which I am a big fan of. After collecting replica swords for some time now, it's uh, very difficult to find any historical accuracy with, um, you know, with the parameters being correct. Normally they'll get the, the shape looking good, but the weight will be, you know, just too much. The dimensions will be too thick, so to speak. And um, this one is very light, what I'm seeing so far. So, big fan of that. This thing is definitely under, under two pounds. Um, not the longest uh, blade there. Seems about machete length. But um, you can start to see some of what I was mentioning about what makes a messer a messer. Uh, typically, most of the messers I, I've seen, you'll see the steel uh, spine of the blade going down through to the handle. But um, that's all right. Uh, I definitely know it's there. I really appreciate the guard. Let me put my right hand. This looks more like a like a right-handed uh, weapon there. Nice, uh, you know, hand bar there, finger bar. Um, the you know, comboed into integrated into a cross guard. I love the uh, cruciform style guards. Uh, nice. Uh, I guess they call that the bone, or or uh, you know, I, I would call it a knuckle guard. I guess. Um, not a pommel, this is kind of like a cap, even has uh, 
what I guess would, would I don't know if that's peened on or just capped on. I think that screws off. I have to come back and figure that out later. Uh, not bad, you know. Let me uh, show you just the handle. Um, I was a little bit, uh, I was questioning the, uh, a little apprehensive because I was questioning the, um, this sort of uh, handle design where it's curved in that manner. Um, but actually, I have a really good purchase on this. I feel like I can get a good swing. You know, uh, easy wrist work. It's it's on point very well. Anyhow, let's get that blade out of there. And that's what everyone wants to see. Oh yeah, look at that. Wrapped in gunk. Caked in gunk right now. But uh, we're not mad at them for that. You know, um... Gotta keep, gotta keep everything preserved and looking good. They don't want to ship out any rusty, rusty equipment. Let's wipe off some of that. See, my hands are getting, you know, caked on there. <laughs> That's all right. Let's wipe some of that down. Still pretty greasy there. Let me see if I can get a fresh paper towel. I don't think this is Cosmoline. I believe this is just straight grease. And if you know, if you, if you out there know what kind of grease it is, I'm, I'm curious to know myself. Leave me a comment in the section if you know, uh, you know, what sort of grease products they're using to preserve these pieces. Anyways, uh, there she is, relatively cleaned up. I'm not gonna, you know, waste too much of your time in the video. While, while I clean this thing up. But there she goes. Fresh, unboxed, cold steel messer. I'm very impressed. Um, you know, I've been uh, looking into uh, sword machetes and, um, you know, the, I guess blades that really cross the line and blur the definition of if it's a short sword or a big knife or a or a machete, you know. Um, this piece uh, looks pretty accurate to some of the historical representations I've seen. Um, I, I'm not 100% sure if anybody, you know, has uh, more knowledge on exactly what would be considered historically accurate. You know, uh, perfectly historically accurate, if you could say that. Um, let me know. Really love the point on there. Nice, fine point. Um, it honestly has some pretty nice uh, distal taper to the tip there, but uh, it's pretty thick throughout the blade. You can see that there. I'm pretty confident that it's going to keep it nice and sturdy. Have a nice fuller running almost the entire length of the blade. You know, going back down all the way into the, the handle, into the guard there. Um, can't really complain so far. Uh, sharpness. It feels pretty sharp. Feels honestly a little bit sharper than the um, sword machetes that I've recently acquired. Um, so uh, definitely going to have to give it a good video. On uh, some cutting tests, you know, see what this can do to some water bottles, etc. Let's see how it fits in its own uh, sheath there. You can see here, it's kind of a tight fit. Let's see here, hmm. feels like kind of a tight fit. Anyone uh, have any experience with getting this bad boy into the sheath out there, let me know. Um, I didn't see anything on it. I think I got it now. It's definitely going to take some loosening up. But it's on there. Nice and tight. Not coming out. There she is. In all her glory. This is my first... Uh, more uh, high-end piece from Cold Steel. I'm very excited to give it a give it a try. 
All right, guys, thanks for joining us. Cut test coming up soon. Let me know if you want to see it. Give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe if you like what you see and you want to see more. All right, let's get to it.